Have you ever heard this uh, saying, uh, if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a sound if no one is there to hear it? It's, it's like I clap my hand and everyone heard the sound, right? Mm -hmm. But if no one is in this room, including me, and does it make a sound? Now this question is easier than which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> you know that one, right? Okay, but these are the types of questions that rishis in India used to spend, you know, maybe lifetimes contemplating, thinking on these things. And the answer is no, because sound is what your ear vibrates. Your ear just picks up a vibration. There's no sound until your ear picks it up, then it makes a sound. What you call sound, which you hear, you hear. So <clears throat> it's called Sankhya. Every sense and sense object have a relation, you see. It's like I've explained before, you go in outer space and you go, there's the sun and it's pitch black until you stick your hand up and then the light bounces off your hand and you can see the sunlight. But when you move your hand in space and there's no asteroid flying by or some, you know, star particles flying by, there's nothing there. So light has no meaning unless it has something to shine on. You follow? Mm -hmm. So sound has no meaning unless there's an ear to hear it. Now you could put a recorder there and you could record the sound and say, see, there was sound. We don't know. That recording machine is an extension of your ear. You've created an ear. They even look like ears. You know, these little speakers, thing. they have these circles and stuff. Your ear's got these circles. It's just a replica, you see. Like this camera is a replica of our eyes. It's recording, a little bit replica of our mind-brain operation. It's storing the recording on a chip and technology gets pretty out there too. You know, some of the technology infrared. They're, they have infrared. A man has had his arm amputated, but for months afterwards, there's a there's a there's an extension that's visible through different light rays. After time, it fades away. So many many amazing things in, in technology. So this is some uh, very important knowledge here and uh, there's nice uh, different ways to discuss this. So uh, the, the main thrust being that the consciousness which pervades our whole body, if you stick your finger with a uh, something and it kind of is like, ouch, that hurts because consciousness is spread throughout the body. That would be explained to say that the nervous system is the physical system by which consciousness can reach even the most, you know, your toes, the ends of the body or wherever. Just like um, the brain, thinking takes place in the brain, no? What would you say, yes or no? Carlos Ortiz, thinking takes place in the brain? I believe consciousnesses are all around the body. All right, you, knew, you knew the answer. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> if there's a neurologist here, I'll say yes. Thinking takes place in the brain. Your memory is over here. Your love life is over here. Your liking food is back here. And all this stuff, it's all in the brain, right? And of course, if you don't have a brain, you can't function, correct? Wrong. Do you know? There's an unknown number of people living in this world that don't have brains. Now, most of them are politicians. <laughs> right, no, but I'm telling you, but there's a disease. You can look it up on Wikipedia and get ready for a shock. And they don't even know how many people have this disease. I think one estimated is at least one in 100,000 people. And you don't know that you have it until you go for a CAT scan of your head. And guess what? There's no brain. There's just gray liquid. It's called hydroencephalitis. You can look it up on Wikipedia and hundreds of articles and the first case, and he worked at the post office and something happened and he had to go to the hospital and get some x-ray, some box hit him in the head or something. And when they looked at it, there's no brain. It's just 
some liquid inside. So the brain, which we would say, your memory's here, your love is here, your food is, that's all gone. It's not there, it's just a liquid. And they estimate one in 100,000 people. So in a town with a million people, there may be at least 10 people living like that, but they don't even know because they've never gone and had their head x-rayed. <laughs> yeah. And these people have average IQ intelligence. They're not stupid. They're not stupid. So the point is, the brain is not your mind. The brain is a muscle which relates to your nervous system, which is a vehicle by which your mind and intelligence will work. And your ego and all these things will be dealt out to the rest of you. You know, and you'll express your ego through your your actions. I am the greatest, like Muhammad Ali used to beat his chest. I am the greatest. That's, you know, his body taking part in his ego. Mm -hmm. But even without those things, without those things, such as the brain, even without the eyes, sometimes people are known to see and be able to think and function, and they don't even have that sense. See, because behind it is something higher, which has all the senses. The Atma, consciousness, has a spiritual mind, spiritual senses, spiritual sight, and all these things.